So I'm here with Chris Foot, the chairperson of the Kenya Film um, Commission, to talk about what is going on in the industry, on the film industry. We've seen a lot of talks on social media on what is going on. So he's going to be clarifying to us exactly um, what are the issues. Thank you very much for giving us your well, time. Well, good to be here. Yes, yes. Great to see you. Now, but let's uh, talk about the film industry um, in a nutshell. Where are we? Um, we? You have recently just done your press conference. We said that we are losing a lot to South Africa. You can mm. give us the details of why that is happening and how much are we losing to South Africa? Yes, I mean, we're losing a lot to South Africa, primarily because of their tax rebate. They offer a 35% tax rebate. And of course, that's very attractive. That's off the bottom line. We trump them in many other areas. We've got better topography. We've got better culture. You know, if you want somebody who looks Somali or Arab or Bantu, or everyone is here. There they have to fly them in. If you want to see the Great Rift Valley, you can't take it down there. If you want Mount Kenya, if you want the savannah, the beaches, the forests, the tropical rainforest, we have it all here. And we have a good depth of crew as well. But the, the, the catch is the 35% the tax rebate. And um, that falls into just everything. Feature films, shorts, commercials, which are now being shot down there, yeah. and TV programs. And so um, we haven't actually calculated the exact amount, but it will it'll be in the ream of tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Um, if you imagine one big feature film like Black Panther, which spent 200 million plus dollars on production alone, you know, that is money that if we'd got shot in Kenya, would have gone straight into the economy. And the global um, multiplier is one to six. One to six, one to five. So every dollar a government spends on film and TV, they get six dollars back. It's a no-brainer. And um, we're now working on setting up a tax, seems, a, a, a tax incentive, tax relief structure in Kenya now. And that's what we're doing at the moment as a commission. All right, when do we expect it to come on board? Well, it depends on how much collaboration we get from KRA and Treasury. Yeah. Um, as you saw two or three years ago, it was in the finance bill that we would have a tax incentive. It's been repeated twice. Um, it, we, it was a bit slow in giving us the money to start. We've received a little bit of money to start the process. Um, so we will be instructing the international um, consultants because it's a very niche area of law. Yeah. They need to understand tax law, they need to understand film law, they need to understand best practice from the big studios at Hollywood, they need to understand what our local industry wants as well. So it takes quite a lot of time to do it, lawyers, accountants and film specialists. But I suspect within a year we'll be there. I would like to see it happen sooner. Um, if we get the buy-in from the other state um, parastatals and gov um, organs, then it could be a lot quicker than that. All right. There has been a lot of issues on um, licensing. We've seen um, the kind of film and classification board talking about licensing of um, YouTubers, and, and, and though they have um, come out to say that they didn't do that, what is going on with the licensing? Yeah, I think they've I think they've slightly backpedaled because of the public outcry. Yes. Quite understandably. Yeah. I mean, we're, we spend our whole core mandate as Kenya Film Commission, as the sole body charged in Kenya with building up the audiovisual industry, trying to create an enabling environment, trying to make it easy, trying to make it um, cheap, just making filmmakers' lives easy. So when all these new licenses start coming in and prohibitive rates, be they from another state organ or from counties, it's frustrating. Yeah. You know, young guys trying to start out, we're trying to help the youth and yet another government license comes out, or yet another cost comes, or yet another condition. Um, so we're in the business of trying to remove those. And actually, um, the law is very clear as to who should issue licenses currently, and that is um, DFS, the Department of Film Services, under the Ministry. Um, and there is a director there who is gazetted as the only person to issue licenses. Um, so there's a conversation to be had as to who is issuing them and why they're doing it and under what mandate, what legal mandate. So KC, KFCB are not supposed to be issuing the... Well, I don't want to get drawn on discussing <laughs> a, a sister organ, but I would just ask people to do their homework mm -hmm. and read the law. The law is very clear and um, it is very clear as to who should and who shouldn't be. And actually, under our new legal notice of 2015, we are also given the right to do licensing under certification. And um, we haven't picked it up on it yet, but we will, we're will. we pushing that. Because actually, globally, best practice is the people who promote and build up the industry should be issuing the licenses. We, one stop shop, you come and say, you want to do a movie? I say, yes, there's some um, incentives we can give you, and here's a license. Mm -hmm. Now, at the other end, there should be somebody rating and classifying what you do and say, is that appropriate? Is that, do we give an 18, a 16, a adult, whatever? That's fine. Very clear roles. Yeah. And the communication authority sits there and um, is God and decides whether we're following the law or not and puts the money where it is. The law is very clear. Yeah. And Kenyans, are, we're sometimes a bit sloppy about working out who's 
following the law and who's no. and who's not. <laughs> yeah. How are you guys working together the, the, with the, the Kenya Film Classification Board and other um, uh, agencies that are in the film industry? Well, we have a wonderful working relationship with the Communication Authority. Yeah. Um, they're respectful of our mandate, we're respectful of their mandate. Um, they don't undermine us, uh, they enhance our role. We sat down together on the local content rules, we reached 40% together because that's what the industry said they'd be willing to do, it's what the media houses said they're willing to accept, we'll go to 60%. It was a classic case of two government bodies working together, we worked very well with them. Um, KFCB has been somewhat tense our relationship um, and um, you know I think that is something that is, is everything's resolvable, is reconcilable, we need to have dialogue, we need to work out our boundaries, we need to work out our mandates, respect our mandates, um, not undermine each other. Um, for the good of the industry. It's very much in our interest to do that. But I think the starting point is respecting each other's mandates. And the law, again, is very clear what our mandate is and what their mandate is. And our mandate is very clearly the body charged with building up the film industry in Kenya, period. Their mandate is very clear that they are the classifiers, stroke censors, the raters, very clear. And I think you have to ask yourself, in who's creeping onto whose mandate. I think it's very clear who is. <laughs> All right, let's talk about um, their mandate as um, censorship. And we've seen a very big movie that was um, taken up and um, but was banned in, in Kenya, and that's Rafiki. Um, how, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I, I can't speak to um, that state organ on what they did. But what I can tell you very clearly is what our position is as Kenya Film Commission. Um, we 100% support Rafiki. We supported them back then, we support them now, we'll support them in the future. We're supporting Kenyan talent, it's a, you know, Kenyan filmmakers, the best of. They went to Cannes, the first time a movie from Kenya went to Cannes. How amazing was that? And then, you know, it was put Kenya on the map, the first time ever, you know, we did that. Now the question is, should it have been banned? Now the law is very clear as to who can ban and who can't ban. Nothing can be banned in Kenya unless it's in breach of our penal code, all right? There is no suggestion that this was a homosexual documentary, that there was pornographic scenes in it at all. The reason given for its banning was there were some homosexual schemes. Yeah. Would, now, hang on, let me ask you a very simple question. How many movies have got illegalities in them, have got a murder, treason, corruption, theft, you name it? Terrorism. Terrorism. Mm -hmm. Do you ban it because of the storyline? Of course not. You're a laughing stock. It's made kind of the laughing stock of the world. It's like you're banning a story because it has a story in it that is illegal in your country. Then we should only watch sanitized movies with angels, yeah. you know, and no movie, no TV show will ever happen because there is something illegal in it. So as a premise, it's intellectually flawed and legally flawed. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that the industry will push back on the legal side and it'll be an embarrassment to us as government. So again, it's unfortunate and it makes our job very hard as we go out into the world and tell them to come and make movies in Kenya. And the first question I got in Cannes from countless producers, well, what about this movie you've banned? Are you going to ban us? Are we? And I'm like, no, that's a different government department. We might not agree with what they did. We're trying to work with them. So it paints Kenya, it, it's retrospective, and it makes us look Neanderthalic. All right. Going forward with this kind of relationship um, that you have with other agencies, what, what's, what, what are we expecting in the industry? Well, I think we need um, to sit down, and we are trying to do it. We've reached out to the other agencies, and let's work together. You know, there's... There is no need for this um, land grab on each other's mandates. There's enough out there, there's so much work for us to be doing. Let's stick to our lanes and let's deliver in our lanes. And let's not try and, you know, do the Kenyan sort of grabbing where we can type nonsense. So I think it's, it's, we can definitely work together. Um, actually, you know, the CEO of KFCB, I, I get on pretty well with him, you know. So I think there's no reason why we can't do it. I think perhaps they need more guidance from their board, but I think their board at the moment is underrepresented, so I'm not sure if it even has quorum. Um, our board gives very strong guidance to our management here. Um, and of course, we need to work under the guidance of our ministry. Um, and, minis and film and TV needs to be put up there as the flagship. Uh -huh. All right, um, during the press conference, you talked about many things that you're doing in, towards promoting um, film industry in Kenya and the resources that you're, you're doing. You also say that maybe you're kind of underfunded. Maybe you could just give us an overview of what are the um, modules that you're coming on board with mm -hmm. to promote um, film in the country and what are your limitations? Yeah. 
Thank you for that. That's a very valid question. It's internationally. Let's look at two of our mandates: promoting Kenya internationally yeah. for film and building up our local film. Internationally, of course, um, the tax rebate will be a changer. We had to wait um, <laughs> over two years to get three million shillings so that we could start our process. You know, that was embarrassing. The German government offered to help us, yeah. um, offered to give us money for it, but they needed money um, from government to reciprocate, and I couldn't get three million shillings. And that was embarrassing. Um, second issue, of course, is countries are out there with their tax rebates, they're marketing, constantly marketing, constantly marketing. And our marketing budget is minuscule. It really is. If you look what the Film Commission gets, we get a budget of about, um, give or take, just over a million dollars a year. Um, South Africa gets $30 million, the equivalent body. So they've got to spend a 30 times our amount. If you look at what um, the the British Film Commission gets. It's probably 100 times the amount. And they bring in, British um, F Film Commission brought in $190 billion last year. South Africa brought in $328 million last year. You know, this is where you spend money to get money. And so we need to be funded on that. I'd love to see a film fund here so that we can fund um, some of our, uh, our producers as they come up, give them some seed funding. Um, you know, we're working on many other aspects. We've got our film director, we've got our resource center here, we run our master classes, we're trying to build up a film culture. There's a lot of different things we're doing. Um, obviously we have our Clasher Awards, which is our big celebration of the industry every year, the Oscars. We've just done the Clasher Market, which is the biggest regional film and TV market they've ever seen. You know, I would love to see it 10 times that size. We had people coming from around the world, but wouldn't it be great if we had the money to make sure that filmmakers from New Zealand, Australia, producers, line producers, finances coming from the States, you know, and we could make it huge. You know, again, that needs money. So there needs to be a recalibration of how much money is willing to go into the creative economy. The creative economy is considered as a, as a, as a green arrow in many countries, as in one that's just going that way. And um, we're missing a trick by doing it. It's an export, it's part of manufacturing. We've got 200 million Kisarili speakers in the region looking for content. And um, how do we get that content to them? We need to be producing in Kenya. It's an amazing market. So I'd like us to be aligned very much with the whole export concept in terms of manufacturing. And we're missing a trick at the moment. All right. Let's hope that things will work out better soon, sooner so than later. Thank, Thank you. you very much for being Real here. Treat. Thank you very much. And um, to your viewers, keep watching Capital. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Capital business. <laughs> OK. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.